Okay, so today I'm going to speak about obedience. Um, and yes, uh, this is a topic that's been like very, very relevant for me in recent times. Um, so why should we be obedient to God? Firstly, Jesus calls us to obey. In Jesus, we find the perfect model of obedience. As his disciples, we follow Christ's example as well as his commands. Our motivation for obedience is love. In John 14, 21 to 23, Jesus tells us, those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my father will love them and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. Judas said to him, Lord, why are you going to reveal yourself only to us and not to the whole world at large? And Jesus replied, all who love me will do what I say. My father will love them and we will come and make our home with each of them. The call to obedience is for our benefit. He knows what is best for us and how to grow us in his image. By obeying his call, we learn more about him and can grow in understanding his heart and desires for our lives. Secondly, obedience is an act of worship. While there is a strong emphasis on obedience in the Bible, we must remember that as believers, we are not made righteous by obedience. Salvation is a free gift of God and we can do nothing to deserve it. True Christian obedience flows from a heart of gratitude for the grace we have received from the Lord. Romans 12, 1. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. So why is obedience, obedience so pleasing to God? Because it proves you really love him. Wholehearted obedience is done joyfully and with enthusiasm. God rewards obedience. Obedience unlocks understanding. In James 1.22, But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. For if you listen to the word and don't obey, it is like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself, walk away, and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. Obedience to God proves our love. The books of John clearly explain that obedience to God demonstrates love for God. Loving God implies following his commands. 1 John 5, 2 and 3, we know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandments. Loving God means keeping his commandments are not burdensome. In 2 John 6, love means doing what God has commanded us and he has commanded us to love one another, just as you heard from the beginning. Obedience to God demonstrates faith. When we obey God, we show our trust and faith in him. 1 John 2, 3 and 6. And if we can be sure that we know him, if we obey his commandments, if someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey his commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. But those who obey God's words truly show how completely they love him. That is how we know we are living in him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. Disobedience leads to sin and sin leads to death. In the Old Testament, the law required the Israelites to offer sacrifices to God. But those sacrifices and offerings were never intended to take the place of obedience. The disobedience of Adam brought sin and death into the world. But Christ's perfect obedience restores fellowship with God for everyone who believes in him. Through obedience, we experience the blessings of holy living. Only Jesus is perfect, 
Therefore, only he could walk in sinless, perfect obedience. But as we allow the Holy Spirit to transform us from within, we grow in holiness. This is the process of sanctification. The more we read God's word, spend time with Jesus, and allow the Holy Spirit to change us from within, the more we grow in obedience and holiness. It tells us in Deuteronomy 11.27 that you will be blessed if you obey the commands of the Lord, your God, that I am giving you today. Let's share in the obedience of communion together as we remember to give thanks for Christ's sacrifice and the grace we receive. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you.